Alright guys, and this is the last video in this series. This is when everything gets pulled together. So, like the last videos, all the code is in the description. But, uh, so you're going to need to go in, make a new program. Mine is under the guy who asked for it. Uh, you might want to name yours Triangle or something else that you'll know. But right now it's just JTC971. So I'm going to hit enter and go through it with you. Alright, so first you're setting the label, then you're running program clear, and this is asking you if you know the angle, and then this is waiting for uh, a certain amount of time so that you can read that and then it automatically goes into uh, a menu. So this menu is asking yes you know an angle, no you don't know an angle. So then you got label 3 then program clear and then this is asking if you know the leg and other leg or hypotenuse and leg so then it's directed to label four there so this is two legs so you're inputting leg one input leg two storing them as a and b and then you're running program find stuff all right and then after that program's done it'll bring you back here and it'll say menu try again yes one no fifteen so that's uh... that'll take you back to the beginning and if not that'll take you to the end and it'll stop the program then we got label five so uh... this will be hypotenuse and leg that's what you know so program clear input the hypotenuse abbreviate as hyp store it as d store it as e so the leg is stored to Z. Then you run program find STF2. So uh, to get to that, you would hit program and scroll all the way over to the right, and your list of programs will be there, and you just hit enter to find STF2. If you have any other questions like where buttons are or whatever, leave a comment, and I'll be happy to help you out with that. Um, so then you come out of program find stuff too. And it asks you, asks you if you would like to try again. Yes, no. That's standard after every uh, mini program. So this is the main one. Uh, then you got label two. So this is if you would know, eh, or if you do know an angle. So run program clear. Then input, enter the angle. And right here we have a built-in device to stop you from trying to input an angle that is greater than 90. So if the angle that they input is greater than 90, then run program clear and say please enter an angle less than 90 degrees. It displays that for a short time and then takes you directly back to inputting in an angle. So, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that prevents you from causing the calculator to have a domain error or something. So that's a nice little feature and I think it's pretty useful so then after that if it isn't bad it says else menu do you know hypotenuse or leg so then it says this takes you to hypotenuse so you input the hypotenuse and then you run program find stuff three then menu try again yes no you guys know what that does. Then label 7. This is where you're inputting the leg you know. Running program clear. There and there. Display is the leg. This is asking is the leg opposite or adjacent to the angle you know. Waiting for that amount of time. Um, and then this is the menu where you choose if it's opposite or adjacent. And so if it's adjacent, you that's label 11. Program find STF4 menu try again yes no label 10 program f find STF 5 and then menu try again yes no then label 15 and there should actually be program here's an example of how to get to your programs so you hit program scroll over to the right and then find the one you're looking for I'm looking for unclear hit enter and plop it right in there 
And so label 15, unclear, stop. And then that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you on my next video. And if any of you have a program that you want me to write, send me a PM. See you next time.